Hi friends, how are you? Um, <coughs> today I am going to show you how you can install Grafana into AWS. So Grafana has uh, two options. One, you can use Grafana Cloud on their uh, hosted and or alternatively you can install Grafana on your EC2 instance and run the dashboard over there. So let's try to install Grafana on EC2. So uh, let's get started. First I go to the EC2 and then I'm going to create a new uh, EC2 instance. Launch instance. Then uh, okay, it's taking some time. Okay, then I'm going to use Amazon Linux one. Add storage, then put web tags, security groups. I will use the existing one. Review and launch. I will use existing key pair. Okay, that's it. So we have created the instance. Now I go to view instances. I copy the public IP address, okay, and then I go to putty. Um, I change the IP address. I already have the uh, key file with PP, PPK file that has been configured here, but I just show you. I just choose the PPK file that I already had used then uh, let's try to connect in the meantime uh, I just open the uh, docker hub for Grafana <laughs> still running okay connection timed out okay let me check if I have open port 22 inbound rules edit inbound rules this is the new layout of the security groups okay port 22 is open so let's check to instance I copy the IP again Same 
just one more time let me check whether the key file name is correct yeah okay the server was down so now it's up so i am now able to connect to that server fine okay let's uh, first thing i need to install is docker seems hang maybe I just okay uh, I was going to install docker so so to um, install docker okay and then um, I need to pull the image so I go to hub docker.com and then grafana. So it looks like this is the image that we are going to do take. The two versions of this image you can use the Alpine based uh, version or you can use Ubuntu. I'm going to try the Alpine version. Start the Docker. Okay, Docker has been started, and then let's pull the image. Okay, the image is being pulled. Then um, we just need to define the port. I will change the port here so let's add um, so, so and then uh, the port is 8080 okay the internally got graph grafana runs on 3000 but my server i want to expose to port 8080 because I have security groups open for port 8080. So let's try to run this. It's running on as a daemon, so that's fine. Okay, now I grab the public IP of that instance. Okay, and then run it on port 8080. Okay. That's it. We can now see the uh, Grafana that is up and running. So uh, next, it's it's going to uh, load it. The default admin password is admin admin. Okay, and then we need to change the password. I need to set something uh, strong. Let's go to a strong password. And then generate a strong password for this Grafana admin. I always suggest to use strong passwords to avoid future issues. Okay, so my Grafana is up and running, and now I will add some sources to uh, fetch data and then 
create the dashboard so add data source here are a lot of options available you can choose like prometheus graphite open tsdp influx and also uh, aws cloudwatch azure monitor there are a lot of options here um, i uh, i suggest you to try with uh, one of the two options cloudwatch and um, other two so let's let's see with cloudwatch Okay, I'm going to go to my IAM and create a role. Okay, access key and secret. So I'm going to give access key and secret users and a new user that is Grafana. It should be programmatic access, that's fine. Then permissions. I just want to give him administrative permissions at this moment because I'm going to just test it. So it is only valid for next five minutes. Okay, um, access key. region EU US one custom matrix okay let's save and test data source has been updated okay that's fine data source is working okay okay that's great then I go to dashboards okay and then we have there's the settings here's the dashboard we can import Okay, I have just imported EC2 and then I go to dashboard home. We have data source. Okay, fine. Dashboards. Mm, how we can create a dashboard here? Just a moment. Let me check. Okay, add dashboard. I need to play around how we can add some um, new dashboards here. So, uh, we have CloudWatch default data source dashboards EC2. Okay, so um, here is our first data visualization. We just started this instance and it is also showing here. And um, region data source, okay, fine. This is the instance. Let me check. Well, it ends with five seven five. Okay, so as you can see, we just imported, uh, we just config installed Grafana, we just configured data source of 
CloudWatch and then we imported EC2 data. So this is an example that I have set here. You can use other data to import like uh, EC2, RDS, EBS and also S3 buckets. Also all sorts of data you can import and then create graphs based on those data out of it. So that is um, quite a uh, extensive work based on your own requirement. But I think I have shown you how you can do that and I, I hope it will help you to use Grafana to create those graphs with real-time alerts and monitoring system. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and bye.